Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome back to Doom. I am still up here on uh, this high area that's claimed my life quite a number of times. I'm not sure if I hit it, I hope I hit a checkpoint when I uh, do all that secret stuff, that way I'm not going to have to get it again. I'm not going down that pipe, no way I'm going to make that jump. <laughs> now we're going to go over here, and we're going to go wee down here where it's somewhat safe. Ow. Okay, gonna go over here. Down over here. Okay. Up here. There we go. Right to him. Upgrade point earned. Oh, awesome. We're down, we got through one uh, enemy killer thing. Okay, not the right way to go. This is the right way to go. And then, where to from here? We need to go, we can't go up. Is that the way we need to go? Crap, okay, I gotta get across some broken stuff. This is not gonna be pretty. All right, box, and jump. Okay, now I gotta make that jump. Whew. Jump, jump. All right, ammo, or armor rather. Checkpoint reached. <sighs> oh, what's up, bitch? Looks a little bloodier than usual. Oh, that's an argent accumulator she's carrying. She'll try to use it to open a portal manually into hell. While the argent tower is non-functional, the connection to their dimension is still viable. We are at great risk, Dr. Hayden. She looks pretty fucked up from the last time I saw her. She must have been having to deal with a lot of crap. Or a lot of hell, I should say. Ha ha ha! Jokes! And of course the bitch just went up the elevator. What we got here? We got some weapon. There's the super shotgun. Home of the patented Argent Energy Filtration System developed by Dr. Olivia Pierce. We are the only corporation with this technology, able to convert pure hell energy into clean, controllable Argent energy. It powers this facility and is broadcast throughout the universe from Argent Tower, providing all the energy a family needs to live a fun and productive life on Earth and the surrounding colonies. But we can't do it alone. It takes a team to make it happen. A team of people full of energy, potential energy. Unleash your potential with the UAC. Thank you for your interest in Argent Energy. Uh huh. All right, let's go ahead and grab the uh, auto map here, and then let's check out that uh, information on that new weapon. Uh, I only get one upgrade to this one, huh? <laughs> Faster reload decreases the time to reload the next shot. Shots penetrate through targets. That sounds nice. Double trouble. Fire the tr fire the twice with the super shotgun before having to reload. Well, we just might have found my new favorite weapon here. Oh boy. Let's check out this other stuff first. See what it has to say about the environments. Argent Energy Tower. Uh, probably it's, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the first one. Completed in 2127, based off a prototype developed by Samuel Hayden's research team, the Argent Tower, also known as the Argent Inductor, is the UAC's crowning achievement. This unparalleled piece of technology is born of the synergy achieved when radical, forward-thinking UAC science is charged with the raw power of Argent Plasma. Unprecedented in scale, the tower's primary purpose is to harness Argent Plasma from the fracture, convert it to usable Argent Energy, and beam Argent packages to Earth's GEDM, Global Energy Distribution Matrix. It's based off of Gauss Cannon designs, first prototyped in the late 20th century, although details regarding the inner workings of the tower are a closely guarded secret. The concept of using a Gauss cannon designed to launch energy packets had not been even theorized prior to the discovery of the fracture, but the technology developed at a miraculous rate soon after. The phenomenal growth of this new tech has led to some of the speculation that the Argent Tower is actually based off a design discovered in the artifacts that were found dispersed around the site of the fracture. You understand all that? Good. Weapons, super shotgun. No. Go watch our video and read it yourself. 
While this weapon has been removed from the UAC's approved weapon arsenal, many veteran operators insist that there is no better alternative for close combat. It offers incomparable destructive power at extremely close range, but is completely ineffective at long range, just like any shotgun. The weapon is light and small, making it a favorite secondary weapon that no self-respecting combat specialist would be seen without. All right. With that in mind, let's go ahead and mosey over to the weapons. Let's put on... Let's go ahead and get... Um, so it decreases the time to reload the next shot or sh shots penetrating through targets. Um, hmm. I don't like having to wait for a reload. So let's start with this one and we'll get the penetrating targets later. Next upgrade will cost six points. Okay, that's fine. All right. Now, with that done, I wanted to go back and look at something here. Was it, uh, yeah, I wanted to look here. Um, increases the value of ammo received from demons and items. Actually, the, the, the ammo I've been getting off of them is not that bad, so we'll go ahead and stick to the uh, uh, vacuum upgrade for now. Okay. I was thinking about maybe going to the ammo boost upgrade, but uh, the amount of ammo I've been getting from the drops that I get aren't bad, so... I'm, I'm fine with what I've got. Okay. I don't need to heal up. We can't go through the elevator because the bitch just took it. Shut the hell up, you stupid hologram. Let's break this door and move on. Oh, hi guys. Boo. Oh, yeah, it's definitely faster. Oh, yeah, I took two of them out. Let's grab this plasma ammo over here. Oh wow, I, I, I wasn't even aiming and I still hit him. Oh wow, this is awesome. I don't have to be on target to kill enemies. His arm just sticking out. Like, <laughs> he took that out. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, I just killed that. One of those, not, not the unwilling, but the other ones. Grenade, you guys can eat that. Is that a summoner? Oh, fuck, it's a summoner. Oh, she moves quickly. Kabushki! Kab uh, damn, I couldn't Kabushki again because she got away. Wait, is that what I think of? That may be the quad damage I'm looking for. Quad damage! I need to feed like 15 enemies with this. Oh, this is not going to last long enough for me to kill 15. damage is gone. So I really wish I had because I still need to finish off that summoner. Is there, is there a second summoner? Shit, I think there is. Alright, let's use this on her then. Okay, not what I wanted to use it on. Okay, checkpoint. So maybe I did get the summoner with that kill, with one of those kills, or one of the ch uh, chainsaws. I didn't have an uh, animation of killing her, so I wasn't sure if I got her or not. Okay, I need to get through that door. Let's take a moment, see if there's anything around here I need to possibly get. Looks like everything's rather secret free. There's a auto map. I got the auto map, but I missed it. Hell, no, I didn't miss the health station, but I did miss a data log back in the first room. How is the data log? How many enemies did I get with that, by the way? With that? No, that's what I wanted. To do. I got only six enemies with the with the quad damage. Damn it. Okay. Uh, was it in this room? Oh yeah, right there. Walked right by it. I looked at it probably three times. Codex entry on the summoner. To the a Lazarus project has managed to successfully capture several summoner demons. The imprisonment process requires careful preparation, I'll bet. 
as the summoner will immediately launch multiple Argent Wave attacks when trapped. To prevent this, Hell Energy must be continuously drained from the demon until it is sufficiently sedated. Anatomical study of the summoner suggests that it is a highly evolved subgenus of the imp form. Okay, well, we kind of, kind of, kind of figured that because it said it was the, the imp said it was a uh, smaller, underdeveloped form of the uh, summoner. That's why I even knew the name when I saw it. Otherwise, I would have said, what the hell is that? In addition to, I think that might be a summoner. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's here. Another hazard. Great. Let's pick this up for some ammo. Why can't I... Is my full up on all ammo? Is that why it won't open this? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what? I gotta jump on one of these, or have I just gotta... I'm gonna die here. <laughs> okay. I think there was a checkpoint nearby, so if I die, I'll just be right back here again, so... Here we go. I just stay right behind us. I'll be fine. Don't we? Please don't be one in front of me. I oh, just get up. Just get up. Just in case. Okay. Whew. Oh, there was one going to come in front of me or behind me. I just got up just in case. Oh, sweet. Yes. Give me that Praetor suit upgrade. Yoink. Greater token gain. That gives me how many? Three. All right. Let's see what we got here. Acceleration items appear in the auto map automatically. That's nice. Increase the total number of equipment charges, which gives me two grenades. Okay. Hold on. Switch weapons faster. Not really a problem. Again, power up effectiveness. Unless I see them a lot more often, it's not really useful. Yeah, I'm getting a second up. I'm getting a second grenade. All right. Nice. Don't need health, so I can move on. I need to go through here. Looks like some ammo for a rocket launcher. That's probably where I need to go is in that hole there. So, is uh, Lady Bitch in here somewhere? See some armor in spots. Alright. Here we go. Herg. Scratch the ear, just the headphones, and Geronimo! Checkpoint. I'll definitely need to point a no return. I'm not going back that way. That door won't open. Oh, fuck. Boss time. So, well, I it's either a boss or it's going to be a common enemy. It's just uh, showing me an in, uh, uh, intro version of him now. Let's, uh... Let's go... Uh, no, let's go... Uh, pistol, rocket launcher, rocket launcher. Yeah, good thing they, That's why they gave me the rocket launcher. That's why. That's this guy. Okay, that wasn't bad. Mancubus. I think it was the one from... Ow! I think that's from one of the ones from the original game as well. Okay, I need to switch something else. Shotgun? Oh, you got this. A shotgun. Ah! Get off me! And glory kill on you. Oh, that's another Mancubus. So they are going to be more, more plentiful than... Just a boss. Grenade! Oh! Okay. Another grenade. Okay, then glory kill this one. I pulled its heart out and made it eat it. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Kind of a serious Sam kind of kill there. Let's 
All right, kill that one. Very nice. Take out this guy. All right. I got no armor, so I need to be careful. Amp up there. Damn it, miss. That was a dead on. That one was dead on too. Very nice. Come on, do you die? Okay, here we go. Alright, let me, uh, well, I've got a chance here. Let's quickly switch to the super shotgun. Got this armor here. These health packs. Going. I got oh, I got quad damage. Sweet. I don't know how I win, but but I don't care. And it expired. <laughs> he has a powered up his attack. Kamehame. Bleh. <laughs> he just splattered. <laughs> Get up there and climb on, damn it. All right. Kaboom. All right. Get him. Get this armor here. Well, fuck. I guess I won't. I missed it. Try my way back up there and see if I can get that armor. So does shotgun armor count for the super shotgun as well? I was like, kind of would be good, but kind of would be bad. Because that means i got to deal with the same gun using the two, two different guns using the same type of armor. Which means if I deplete the ammo from one gun, I'm actually depleting the ammo from two guns. That's not good. What was that? Jump. Okay, over here. Jump. Make it! Ah, oh, you can't climb. You can't climb up that. Damn it! Oh, there's an imp up there. I hit him. I'm not sure I did. I did. <laughs> cool. I've been point upgrade. All right, I'm three. I'm three upgrades in. Very good. I've earned three points. Okay, before I actually start anything that's going to require any kind of fighting, I want ammo. I want armor. So what exactly is my objective here? Scale the tower. Well, I think I did. I think I'm unless I need to climb those things. So that? that's chainsaw fuel. I could use some chainsaw fuel. So let's get me some chainsaw fuel. Somehow. Jump! Uh, I can't make it. All right. Jump, jump. No, I still can't climb up on that. Okay. All right, not critical. Not critical. Still got a lot left. Um, okay, so I need to be hitting these switches or something? Or... Boop. Oh, it's an elevator. It went up like three feet. Oh, okay, this one comes down. I guess I gotta jump on it. Jump, jump. I'm on. Probably I was been the time I should have gone and grabbed that gas canister. But oh well. So where's this gonna take me? It stops here. Oh, there's a platform? Okay, got it. Whew. The accumulator's energy signature indicates that it is nearing the top of this Argent facility. If she ruptures that accumulator near the origin beam, she could open a portal to their world that we will never be able to close. That sounds bad. I should do something about that. Do 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 first time I look around. I see around here. Okay. So my objective is this direction somehow. Let's wait up, I guess. Yeah, do some jumping again. Alright. I need to work my way up. And I will work my way up 
in the next episode of Doom. I'm getting pretty close to taking on uh, Olivia Pierce, I think her name was. Pretty close to taking her on, I think. If she if, if it's some kind of boss, I think. I, I will be reaching her soon, I believe. Whether I take her on or she dies in a cutscene, whatever. I think we'll find all that out in the next episode. We'll see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links into this video for more of my stuff. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Scorn, the Crimson Renegade, and I'll see you later.